topic is present simple. Okay, it is one of the grammatical topic that we learn in English. So the question is, what, when do we use present simple? Come on, let me see your hands up everyone. Yes, let me see your hands up. That's great. So Shadia, you over there, when do we use, pre give me one of them. I know that we use present simple for three cases. So give me one of the cases. Daily routines. Daily routines. Daily routines. What is daily routine? Daily routine is, some, is something that we do every single day. For example, every single day we get up, we eat breakfast, we brush our teeth, we put on makeup, some of us, and uh, these are the daily routines that people do. Okay? Perfect. For example, for you guys, your daily routine is you come to school, you study, you go back home, you do your homework, you watch TV, you play around with your friends. Good? So do you all understand what daily routines mean? Yeah. 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 Yes. Perfect. All of you understand what daily routine means. That's great. So, um, what is the second case that we use present simple? What else do we use present simple for? Mitchell, you over there? What do we use present simple for? We use present simple for facts. What are facts? What is fact? Fact is something that is not going to change. It is true at all times. For example, I say that the earth rotates around the sun all the time, every single day. So it means that it is not going to change. It is not like the same, the, the earth rotates around the sun one day and it rotates around the moon another day. Is that like that? No, it's not. The earth always rotates around the sun. Is it? Can you give an example? Yes, of course. All time. There is air around us at all time? Exactly, that is also a fact. Because it's not going to change, okay? A fact means it's true and it's not going to change. Easy? Yeah. Perfect. What else? In which other cases we use present simple? Come on, let me see your hands up. Kijet? Habits. Habits, exactly. We use present simple for habits. For example, I say she smokes every day. It's a habit. It means she, is sm she smokes every single day. Or she, for example, there are people who have really bad habits because there are good habits and there are also bad habits. So what are the bad habits? For example, there are people who are eating their nails. So you say she eats her nails. So that's a bad habit. So we use present simple in three cases. Daily routines, facts, and habits. Easy? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone understands? Yeah. Is everyone with me? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So. Now, right now, I'm going to talk about positive and negative statements in present simple. So let me write this down. We have positive, and we also have negative. So positive, what do we mean by positive? It means that the person is doing the, the thing, is doing the action, is taking the action. However, when I say negative, it means that the person is not taking any actions. All right? Yeah. Great? Yeah. Yes. Everyone understands that? Yeah. Perfect. So, right now I am going to write rules for positive statements and negative statements. All right? So, for positive statements, the first thing we have is a subject, and then we have a verb. And what do we attach to the verb? Yes. What do we attach to the verb? Yes. Is or ES. Perfect. And we've already explained in which cases we add S and in which cases we add ES. I have already explained this to you. Does everyone remember? Yeah. Yes. Does everyone remember that? Yes. yes. That's great. And then after this, we have the rest of the yes. sentence, which means whatever that comes after the verb. Easy? Yes. Perfect. So now, can someone please give me a sentence for a positive statement, present simple? A positive statement. Can someone give me a positive statement? Yes, Shams? Why don't you give me a positive statement? No, give me a verb. A she, verb. She. Any play. kind of verb. She plays uh, the she, piano, for example. Yeah. Easy? So she plays the piano. Perfect. We have here a sentence. She plays the piano. Easy? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. And why did we add this S, everyone? Why did I add this S? Let me see your hands up. Come on. Shall 
add, why did we add S? Because uh, it ended with uh, Y. Exactly, because it ended with Y, so we added the S. And also before the Y, we have a vowel letter. That's also one of the reasons. And also because we have she, always with she, he, it, we should add either S or ES to the verb. Easy? Yes. Great? Yes. So now give me more sentences. Come on. Teacher. Give me more sentences. Come on, give me more sentences. Let me see your hands up. Let me see your hands up. Kisha, why don't you give me a sentence? She goes to school. She goes to school. Except I'm going to change. That's a perfect sentence, Kisha. But I'm going to change the she to we so we have all of the different subjects, OK? So for example, I can say, we go to school. We go to school. Easy? Yes. Perfect. So, that's great. Can you, what, what can you use with present simple? What can you use for it? a time expression? What kind of time expression can you use with present simple, Savia? Every day. Every day, exactly. We can use every day. What else can we use? What else, Savia? Today. Today, that's perfect. So we can use every day and today with present simple. Great? Right? Yeah. Perfect. So, can you guys give me more sentences? Come on, give me more sentences. Yes? I watch TV every day. That's a perfect sentence, everyone. So, for example, I say, I watch TV. I watch TV every day. Every day. Exactly. That's a perfect sentence. And it is a daily routine. It is one of the daily routines because everyone watches TV. Everyone watches TV at home, and we do it almost every day. So I watch TV every day is at the same time a daily routine and a positive statement for present simple. Easy? Easy. Yeah. Perfect. So now let's move on to negative, OK? Yeah. Now let's move on to negative. So what is the rule for negative? We have a subject, of course, and we have does and or do. do. Exactly, and then we have not, not, and then we have the verb. But the verb should be what? Be Come on, be let me see your hands up. Be what be the verb should be? Bavian? Base. It should be base. It means that you, sh you cannot add S or ES to the verb. That's what it means. When you say that the verb should be base, it means that you are not allowed to add S or ES to the verb. Okay? Yeah. Everyone understand? This is very important. So let's see what I'm going to do with this because it is very, very important to know that you cannot add S or ES to the verb when you have a negative statement. So as we all may know, with she, he, it, we use does, uh, we use does, and with I, we use they, we use do. Easy? All of us know that. I've already explained this. I've already given you a lot of notes. All good? Yeah. Perfect. So now, I am going to give you a sentence about negative. For example, we say, he does not eat pizza. This is a perfect sentence. He, subject, does not, the negative part of it, and then eat our verb in base. The verb should be base. See, we have he and we haven't attached s or es to the eat, to the verb, because it should be base. And then we have pizza, which is the rest of the sentence. Right? Yes. Perfect. So, right now I want you to give me sentences. Come on, let me see your hands up. Give me yes. sentences, yes. everyone. Come on, let me see. Yes, Kevin, why don't you give me a sentence? She doesn't play football. She doesn't play football. Perfect sentence. Right. Kisha, why don't you give me a sentence? She does not go to school. I'm going to change that she to I, and I'm going to say, I do not go to school, which is not a good thing, people. You should all go to school. So I do not go to school. Perfect? Great. So let me see who else got a sentence for me. Come on. Let me see your hands up. Yes, Alex? He doesn't like to listen to English class. He doesn't like to listen to his English class. Perfect sentence. What else? But by the way, you should listen to your English class. How else would you gonna be able to learn, okay? Great? So, yes, chat? Why don't you give me a sentence? He doesn't like volleyball. 
He doesn't like volleyball. Perfect. Salia, what about you? Why don't you give me a sentence? No, with you. What should we use with you? Exactly. You don't like. You don't like to take photos. For example, I can say we don't like to take photos. We don't like to take photos. Is it? We don't like to take photos. We do not like to take photos. However, what is the difference between saying do not and don't? Can someone tell me that? What is the difference? Why, why in some of the sentences I write, I wrote do not, and in other sentences I wrote don't? What is that called? Why did I use that comma? What is it called? Shadia? Exactly, that's contraction. It is called contraction, okay? Because sometimes we do not want to write the whole thing in, in a long version, so we just contract it by using a comma. Okay? We contract it by using a comma. Is it? Yeah. Perfect. So now, let's do a little sum up. So, in which cases do we use present simple? The three cases. Come on, let me see your hands up. What are the three cases that we use present simple? Ali? Daily routines. Daily routines, perfect. Daily routines, and what is daily routine? Can someone give me an example about a daily routine? Yes, Shams. You give me a, a, an example about a daily routine. A daily Exactly, it is something that we do every day. Can you, can someone give me an example about something that you do every day? Give me one thing, give me one example that you do every single day. Why don't you give me an example? Go to school. So I go to school every day. It is a perfect example for a daily routine, right? Perfect. So, what else? Give me more examples about daily routines. Give me more examples. Let me see your hands up. Yes, yeah, over there? I brush my teeth every day. Perfect. I brush my teeth every day. What about you? Why don't you give me a sentence? Uh, we teach English every day. We teach English every day. That is also a daily routine because I personally do it every single day of my life. What else? No, no. Now let's move on. Let's give me another case that we use present simple. Come on. Give me another case where we use present simple. Let me see your hands up. Yes, Evan? Why don't you give me one of them? Habits, exactly. And what is habits? For example, give me an example. What is a habit? Come on, give me an example, everyone. Salia? Smoking. Smoking is a habit. For example, if you say, I smoke every single day, there you go, that's a habit. What else? In which other cases do we use present simple? Maha? For facts. And what is fact? It is something that is true at all times. It is not going to change. That is a fact, exactly. For example, a fact is the earth rotates around the sun. It happens all the time, every second of the day. It's not gonna change. It's not like one day it's gonna uh, rotate around the sun and then the other day it's gonna rotate around the moon. It's not gonna be like that, okay? All good? Yeah. So right now, what? What? What fact? Fact, fact is something that is true at all times it is not going to change, okay? For example, we say that the sun, uh, sorry, the earth rotates around the sun at all times. It means that the earth is going around the sun at all times. Is it gonna change? No, no it's not going to change. Then that, therefore, that's a fact. Is it? Yeah. Perfect? Yeah. So do you guys have any questions about present simple? Anything at all, any concerns? No. Come on, any question, no. any concern? No concerns? Perfect. So now I am going to give you more examples about sub positive statements and negative statements, okay? Okay? Come on, let me hear your voice, okay? Okay. Okay, I want you to be active in class. Don't be so lazy and grumpy in my class, all right? So, for example, what else can we have uh, for examples? For example, we can say, he uh, drinks tea every day. He drinks tea every day. A lot of people in Kurdistan drinks tea every day. For example, you can say, he drinks tea every day. That's a perfect positive statement. Good? Yeah. Perfect. Can you give me more positive statements? Yes, give me more positive statements. 
Come on, let me see your hands up. Okay, Zina, why don't you give me a positive I statement? I watch TV every day. I watch TV every day. I brush my teeth every day. I go to school every day. For example, for in my case, I drive my car every day. Okay? These are all daily routines. What about negative? Can someone turn this sentence into negative for me? She plays the piano. Can you turn it into a negative sentence? Can you swap these sentences? Yes. Come on, let me see your hands up. Can you swap them? Yes, Ellie, over there? Why she don't you tell me? She does not play piano. She does not play piano. Perfect. You, the sentence, the positive sentence is, she plays the piano. So the negative one is, she does not play the piano. Is it? Yes. Why don't you change this sentence for me? Turn it into negative. Come on, let me see your hands up, Babian. Why don't you do it for me, Babian? I do not watch TV every day. I, exactly, that's perfect. So the sentence itself says, I watch TV every day. That's a positive sentence because we do not have not in the sentence. However, if you say, I do not watch TV every day, therefore that's a negative sentence. Okay? What? I do not go out every day. I do not go out every day. That's perfect sentence because it's a negative sentence and he said the sentence according to the rule. We have, he said I, which is the subject, and then do not because with I, we, you, they, we use do. And then we have I do not go, so go is your verb in base. He did not attach either S or ES to the verb. And then we have the rest of the sentence. So he said I do not go out every day. Did everyone understand? Yes. 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 Perfect. So I want someone to turn this sentence into negative. We go to school. Come on, let me see your hands up, everyone. Yes, put your hands up. Come on. Yes, Pisha. You go ahead. We go to school. What? We don't go to school. We don't go to school. That's perfect. Okay, that's great. And then, why don't you turn this sentence for me into negative? She plays the piano. She plays the piano. Come on. Let me see your hands up. Shams, why don't you do it? She doesn't play the piano. That's, that was great. She doesn't play the piano. So everyone, that was it for today's topic. Did everyone understand everything? Yes. yes. That's great. Do you guys have any questions? No. No, no questions? No. no. That's great. Did you write everything that is on the board? Yes. yes. That's great. Perfect. Thank you so much for listening. See you all later.